What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fudge Muppet, it's Scott here with some more Fallout 76 speculation and if you are interested, subscribe for more Fallout 76 news, speculation and content when the game finally comes out. But for now, we want to talk about whether or not there will be ghouls in Fallout 76. Now, there will most definitely probably be ghouls. Like some people have come to me and they were asking about like, oh, does it make sense in the law if ghouls exist now? Like I thought it took time for radiation, but uh, that is the case. So a lot of the time for a lot of the ghouls, it's a gradual process. Like over time, they become ghoulified from intense amounts of radiation. But there have also been many instances in the games where humans have been instantly turned into ghouls. For example, if you decide to nuke Megaton in Fallout 3, Moira Brown will be instantly turned into a ghoul and you'll be able to interact with her as a ghoul. Also in Camp Searchlight in Fallout New Vegas, a nuclear device was set off and then instantly all of these NCR troops were turned into ghouls, the ones who weren't killed in the blast. So the mutation or transformation into a ghoul can happen very, very quickly. Now these ghouls then end up with extended overall lifespans and they're immune or sometimes even healed by background radiation or nuclear fallout. So, what's interesting about this game, Fallout 76, is that it's set only 25 years after the Great War in the year 2102, which means it's only been a relatively short period of time. I think there is cause to believe that there will be plenty of ghouls and feral ghouls and maybe even more ghouls actually than the other games just because when you have 200 years since the Great War, there's a lot of chance for a lot of the ghoul people to die out or be killed off because, you know, they can't procreate. And so there could only be like a few ferals like in, you know, super duper marts and stuff like that. Whereas 25 years after, there could be a lot of humans, a big population of humans that have been freshly turned into ghouls. Now, an interesting thing to talk about, at least I thought about, was feral ghouls. So we know that over time, people are turned into feral ghouls. Like, and not to everyone, but it seems like it's one of those inevitabilities. Sometimes not, but for most ghouls, just, you know, by seeing the number of feral ghouls in the games, that you eventually sort of rot your brain and you eventually become this feral ravenous creature ready to kill any human flesh, essentially zombies. Now, what's interesting about only being 25 years after the Great War, so essentially a great ghoulification of of any of the humans that were above ground, but not all, they might actually not have had a lot of time to turn feral. Like, I'm just, in, in my sort of head, I wouldn't imagine 25 years is super long. Like, there'd be a lot more ghouls that are conscious and not all feral and crazy. And I was thinking that, I wonder if, I don't know if they did this, this is a full speculation, but it would be really, really cool to have part of the storyline or some quests or something or, or sort of towns or cities focused on the transformation from ghoul into feral ghoul because 25 years seems sort of like it's like long enough you've lived 25 years as this sort of immortal ghoul that a lot of them would by now start be breaking down into ferals like there might be some ferals that sort of did like 10 years ago maybe 15 years ago you know you could have towns full of ghouls and maybe there's like a uh, like a doctor sort of asylum kind of setup for ghouls who were once conscious and normal functioning like humans but are now turning feral and maybe they're trying to prevent it and it could be really cool I feel like they really should explore it I mean I'm just crossing my fingers this is completely spitball but just because the impact of the ghoulification hasn't had that long to set in by comparison to the later games like you know there could be feral ghouls in Fallout 4 that are hundreds of years old whereas you know the oldest feral ghouls in this game would be like 25 years old so well from the point of their ghoulification but still it would be really really interesting to see I actually expect a lot of ghouls because in both Fallout 4 and then Fallout New Vegas with characters like Raul we do see a fair few characters that that have been around since pre-war, pre-war ghouls, who then live on all the way to you know, 200 years later in the setting of Fallout 4, it would be really cool to see a lot more of them. I actually think there could be a lot of ghouls in this game. So I can imagine without a doubt there will be ghouls all over the place, feral ghouls because it's just a fun enemy type, you have these rushing zombie-like creatures running at you, but I really do hope that uh, my little 
speculation dream came true and they do really dive into the psychology and sort of exploration of the turning slowly and degrading into this feral ghoul but i feel like there should be towns of plenty of ghouls like if there's going to be a high population of ghouls closest to the great war is the time because they can't procreate but there's many who've only had 25 years to die off so like by fallout 4 it's been 200 years so plenty of ghouls would have died off whereas at this time in the games it's plausible that many humans that lived before the pre-war are actually alive still without ghoulification they could be like 50 years old or something so I'm really keen to see what they do but I would put all that at rest is definitely going to be ghouls I can I just can't imagine without it and in terms of law all you need is a big load of radiation to create ghouls basically and uh, 25 years after the Great War there will definitely be a lot of radiation Anyways, thanks very much for tuning in. Hopefully that gets some of you excited. I know I keep hyping myself up and I know I'm probably hyping a lot of you up, but hopefully it exceeds our expectations. And if not, well, maybe that's another lesson in the hype train, but uh, who cares? To me, hype before the game is one of the most fun parts. Even if the game itself actually lets me down in some areas, I still just enjoyed the whole hype train. So. Yeah, I hope you guys do too. Subscribe if you want more Fallout 76 news, speculation, and eventually content. My name's Scott from Fudge Muppet, and I'll see you next time.